Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. I am at the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore, Bailey Shellberg Hike. We're here to do a 3.3 mile hike today. I'm accompanied by my dad and my brother. Grateful to have them here. And yeah, so we've got our watches. Watch, start your watch. I didn't start mine. And today is Father's Day and Ivan just sent me a happy Father's Day notice. Excellent. So yeah, we are definitely celebrating Father's Day uh, with the father out at a national park. What do you got to say about Father's Day, Dad? Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. All right. No, no, I mean, this is so perfect. It's so symmetric and perfect uh, that we are all three together, that this is uh, the finishing hikes. Second to last hike, uh, we're to be done on Father's Day, and we're gonna then follow this one up. Uh, as the last hike in our book and uh, you know I couldn't ask for anything more you know, I'm obviously exchanging information with uh, all of my friends around Father's Day and uh, you know everyone's got some time planned during the day but a lot of people are golfing or doing whatever I'm hanging with you guys for the entire weekend that's it's pretty cool yeah. so I'm very very happy with that Awesome. And it's you guys, so thank you. Righto. So, on this hike, uh, we're going to be passing by the Shell Shellberg Farm, uh, which was owned by three generations of emigrants, immigrants, immigrants, immigrants. Uh, but you couldn't be three generations of immigrant. It's only the first generation that immigrated. And then you are nationalized okay okay uh yeah so we're gonna be stopping by the uh farm that they own since 18 uh 30s until the um national park foundation bought up the land in 1970 i think that's right uh okay and then we're gonna check out the bailey cemetery walk around we'll pass over the little calumet river through the Noki Prairie, past the Bailey Homestead, and then back to the trailhead. Uh, right here, this has got to be the farm, right? No, the farm's up ahead, oh, so we'll film ahead. that next. But right here, this is uh, a maple shed. So they're making some maple syrup, and I assume these. Uh, this is a long row of maple, although it looks like there's some oaks in here too. But uh, yeah, so all these interpretive signs uh, in front of us are all about making maple syrup or harvesting maple syrup how do you feel about maple syrup from a maple syrup's okay with you right from a, from vegan, a vegan standpoint yeah yeah maple syrup's great i own some you, you own, <laughs> you know, is that an etf <laughs> no you convert your cyber into <laughs> none of that <laughs> to big maple <laughs> to big maple industry bit maple <laughs> yeah yeah i hold uh, one bit maple coin <laughs> yeah, well, the, you know, it's the, all the uh, legislation that Big Maple is passing through. Uh-huh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, maple, Bit Maple's looked at as property and not... Uh, In Canada? And not a currency. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, I, I own some, some maple <laughs> syrup at home. A jar of maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> and and this is subject. why we become parents, right? <laughs> so we can move through these accomplishments of our children. <laughs> My son has a jar of maple syrup at home. It's organic. <laughs> uh, well, we didn't learn much about maple syrup, but that was kind of fun. We're going to be doing a big giant circle. And as per standards of the book, we're going counterclockwise. Of course. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's right. You know what I love is when you holding the camera do all these circles. <laughs> <laughs> 
the editing afterwards is so much <laughs> so much more fun it's true it's true <laughs> all right uh thanks for joining us today don't forget to subscribe come on, tune back tomorrow so you can see the farm that's just in front of us this is the shellberg farm Chickens. the shellberg farm so when was this built 1834 cool and there are yeah there should be animals yeah well there's cows oh, over here yeah, and we got chickens chickens oh we're gonna spend a minute here so this definitely is a working farm i love cows coos what's in here Supplies. fertilizer oh that's pretty neat there you go how you doing <laughs> chicks chicks oh there are a lot of people here Hey, look at these guys. Oh, hey there. Hey. Frickin' Frack. Knick Knack. Well, the camera does not do justice to the fragrance of smells that are around. Please do not feed the animals. Yeah, you could kind of tell this was a pig pen. Yeah, I think that's right. Yay, cow! This smells bad. Yeah. We got a couple of pigs over here. That's There's pigs? Oh my gosh. Pigs? Look at that pig. You are a good pig. Oh, you you're videotaping? Great I'm adjusting my shorts. Oh, that's okay. You'd have to turn around in the 360 and tell people ahead of time that that's what you're doing. <laughs> you are. What do we got? All right, we are at the Bailey Cemetery, and it is one hell of a cemetery. Bailey. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, good. So, wife born in 1813. 1811. Wow, this is quite a memorial. That Francis Howe guy only lived to be 19. Yeah, you know, you we've walked through the cemetery. Yeah. Uh, in Loudon. Yeah. Near Loudon State Park in Daysville. The Confederate, or going back to the Civil War, not Confederate, but Civil War, it's a northern uh, cemetery, and there are lots of families where it's three or four children that only made it, to, uh, you know, less we, than five years. Let me walk out. Yeah. This is pretty neat. Is the camera okay? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. All right, we are two and a half miles in, and this is the boardwalk section, which is definitely on the map. And uh, this is a pretty neat view standpoint, I think, anyway. If you spin around, certainly get a good idea of what this has looked like for hundreds of years or thousands or tens of thousands okay we're looking up the inner immersive van gogh which of course will have already been to by the time this video comes out but we are two weeks away and dealing with conflicts This is a sick bridge. This is a sick bridge. I'm cool with this. I'm going to this bridge. I'm going to run across it. Okay. Ooh, look at me go. Look at me go. Ooh. <laughs> Chipmunk over here. That's right, we get excited over chipmunks. Oh, you know, that was great. Minoki Prairie. Minoki Prairie. Minoki. 
So we're finally in a prairie that is in bloom. We've hiked so many prairies. Look at this orange right here. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. We've done so many prairies that are out of season. And I was just kind of complaining a second ago. Um, and I take all my complaints out because this, this is a bit more impressive. It is hot and humid today. Ow! Yowza! I know, that guy's been annoying me too. Golly. He's a big one. He's on your hat. Well, he's fine on my hat. He's not biting me. I like grabbed him like he's big. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tossing him my way. Well, I don't know. I guess we switched targets. Well, you guys are kind of friends now. Oh, that's good. Yeah, this is nice. What do you think, Neil? I like it. What do you like about it? I just feel very immersed <laughs> in nature as far as the eye can see. Except for that house over there. You okay? Yeah, I'm just looking at all these. There's just so many varieties of stuff things. Of course, I've let that bug catch up to me. You an annoying one. All right, well, thanks for joining us in this prairie walk. Pause and take one last look around if you're into it. Ryan recommends Chain of Lakes if you're on the north side of Chicago as the best prairie then he has experienced in the Chicago area. I'd have to concur, there's a lot to do in the Chain of Lake State Park. All right, see you tomorrow. We're actually at the homestead now. Before we were not, but these clearly look like log cabins from the 1800s. Well, aside from the Nice house. Wow, they put a second story on that thing. That's pretty fascinating. Okay, so as we're passing the Bailey Homestead here, it says that uh, Mr. Bailey or Mr. Howe would trade with the native Indians and the native Indians would bring fur pelts uh, and I don't know what he traded in exchange for them but basically this trading that happened here is what helped develop the Calumet region and they make mention of the Kankakee Marsh which we hiked a couple weeks ago. Check out the Kankakee Marsh hike in our playlist section. But uh, yeah, it was the Potawatomi Indians. Hmm. Well, I like the trail mentions here. So this Bailey Trading Post was along the, <sighs> sorry, Lakeshore Trail, which that went to Chicago, Fort Dearborn at the time, uh, and uh, to between Chicago and Detroit, the Souk Trail, uh, which was a bigger trail going from New England down to down the Missouri River, split into the Santa Fe Trail and the Oregon Trail, which would then take you to the West Coast. The Oregon Trail and the Santa Fe as well, like the, I think they split at Kansas City. And when I was doing the elections work of Kansas, um, this is one of the things that I was looking at is where these trails went through Kansas and how they got through the Rocky Mountains. Ultimately, the, the trails that went to the West Coast had to somewhat originate in a valley system that would get you through the Rockies. Right. And that was kind of the deciding factor. Right. 
Um, so, you know, these are big trails with people that aren't in airplanes or using satellites to figure them out. Well, I guess we got rangers. All right, we'll do it. Okay, that's gonna do it for us. On this hike, the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore, Bailey Shelberg hike. We put up 4.6 miles because, well, I'm not really sure. We did a little extra. But um, yeah, so we got to see the farm. There's cows and chickens and pigs that are there. We went up to the cemetery, which is super cool to see. A big tombstone. And then we passed by the Environmental Learning Center, just sort of looked at it, nothing too special. Walked over the Little Calumet River a couple times. Walked over the bike path a couple times. Uh, great biking can be done here. Went through the Minoki, uh, Minoki Prairie, which was super solid. Uh, great time at the prairie. Lots of flowers to see. Lots of prairie land that exists. And then we finished by passing over the Bailey Homestead, which was also cool to read about. They have some really informative plaques there. And uh, that is where the Calumet region got its start because of all the trading between uh, Bailey and the Bailey family and the Potawatomi Indians who traded their, um, their uh, animal pelts to him. So it was a good hike, ended up being two hours and again 4.6 miles. So we got one more to do. Next hike is our last hike in the 60 miles within 60 hikes within 60 miles of Chicago Bible. So. Can I ask you what your favorite part of this hike was? The prairie. I would agree. Neil, what was your favorite part? I liked the prairie. I liked the uh, grave. The Memorial Cemetery. Dan, what was your favorite part? The prairie by far. Mm -hmm. So we'll give you more videos soon. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this series of hiking videos. Uh, we love the support. Comment below your favorite part of this hike. And uh, be sure to check out in the description. You can follow me on different platforms, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.